All right, guys. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch chat. Welcome to the gang, the blank gang. Today we're gonna do a guide. It's been I know it's been a while since I did a guide, but yeah, we're gonna do a character guide for once, and uh, it's gonna be on the new character Piranha Plant. Uh, came out two days ago, I believe, and I've gotten a couple hours in with the character, so I feel like I got a decent grasp on how the character works, and I figured let's let's teach y'all some some plant gang shit. All right, so first off, plant gang is <laughs> plant gang. Plant is a decently like mid speed character, um, both in the air and uh, movement wise. Run is a little bit faster, I think, than dash. Falls very quickly, actually, as you can see off stage. It's a very heavy character as well. I think it's like eighth heaviest, like almost considered super heavy. But yeah, very heavy character. Dies late to move, so and does a lot of damage in general. Is it a she? Oh, I don't care. Plant, for the most part, is a character that plays with some special usage. Um, has a bit of wonky, unique specials, which I really like. She has good moves and uh, in general just like pretty good strings once you actually get in but has trouble actually getting in getting that neutral win so let's start with the specials right side b is a poison cloud it does not do any hit stun so as you can see here wario can do whatever the fuck he wants once you actually hit him with the poison cloud you can't combo to anything like you can't you can't do like this you can't you can't do poison cloud to grab. However, if they're not ready, you can try to mix them up. So generally you want to do side V and then grab them, hold them for the entire duration and then down throw them. Or you do full side V and then um, you try to either dash attack them as they're trying to run away from the cloud. You can also upper them if they're gonna jump. And this is the other high, really high reward punish, which is um, you jab them. So you get the multi-jab. I fucked up there, but... So yeah, you can see how much damage that is. There's like, if they ever fall for that, it is ridiculous damage. So definitely, if you're playing against Prana Plant, look out for that. And I forgot to mention, but you can charge Psy-V. It's like any charge. You can jump with it, jump to cancel it, and you can shield from on the ground. Doesn't take that long to charge, um, but definitely not something you're gonna do all the time. It does 54 fully charged, but it does 30 uncharged, so don't charge in neutral, I would say. Don't feel the need to be like, oh, I def I need to charge all the time, like, no. Poison Cloud is not a great special, and it's quite fine even if you don't charge it. The strength isn't that much stronger. Next up, we have Down B. Down B is kind of a unique move. <laughs> you see Plank going to the, the pipe, I guess. It, it's a pipe pot. Like, I, I it's technically a pipe right but like it it's the works as a pot yeah so you go into it and you start charging you can't hold it forever can't cannot so eventually it will go out it does a lot of damage as you can see if it's full charge um does not do that much damage if you uh, it only does 10 if they hit right away so yeah it, it basically scales long you charge you can do this both in the air and you see that you kind of start falling slower when you do it yeah you can also decide if you want to tip either way like to the left, so to, to the right, or just stay straight up and then tip really, really, really late. The big problem with this move is that it becomes very predictable and has a lot of end lag. Obviously you can just kind of shield it and uh, once uh, it has turned like this fully, you know that it cannot go, like I can't tip back. So once it's already tipped over, it will always go straight. And so you can just kind of jump around it. But if you do hit it off stage, it is a very, very good edge card tool and it can kill people very early. There's some special thing you can do. If you stand at the very edge and you do down B, you will fall down as you press forward. And this can surprise people a lot. Depending on when you do it, you can actually cover quite a bit of uh, different recoveries with it. So predictable recoveries need to watch out for this one, 100%. It also has uh, super armor. So sometimes you can fall down and they will try to uh, hit you and you can super arm it and then hit them back really quickly. Now, the two specials, this is the, the left and plank gang special that is totally not invented by me and it's not called the left and plank gang special, but um, we're gonna call it that because uh, I'm an EO maniac. You do side B, preferably fully charged. And when you're in this, they can't see what you're doing. Now, you can't taunt, which is 
does nothing. But uh, now there's a, another trick. You do side beat, you dash into it, and bam. Fully charged down B. Out of nowhere. That's the Plant Gang Super Special Deluxe. And yeah, basically you can start charging down B when you're <laughs> inside the Poison Cloud. <laughs> and uh, you can probably charge F Smash or something like that as well. It's not very useful, I'll be honest. But it is really fucking funny when it does work. Yeah, you, you can actually see it. See the little spark here. So they can actually see that it's happening, but it's harder to, for sure. Next up, we have Uppy. It's a pretty standard uh, Uppy, but you can control it quite a lot. You have a hitbox around Piranha Plant, but not the head. So you can still hit Piranha Plant in the head. Pretty diverse. You can It goes pretty far. You can try to move around. Has a decent amount of landing life if you land on stage, though. You can also use this as a niche Uppy out of shield, because it does 16 and sometimes as a combo finisher. So if you land on a falling upper, you can, for example, up the uh, right after it. Next up, I think we have Pranaplan's most special special, if you will call that, neutral beat. So it's the the spike ball. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's, it's the spike ball. Actually, can we? Patui, okay. Wow, amazing, Patui. So this is a, basically charge projectile but you don't need to charge it very long i think you can hold it forever actually i thought it eventually hit you but you're supposed to get the max length you're supposed to hit send it away when it's at the lips so if i turn it like that see how it doesn't go very far and here too so as you see it come down that's when you press to the side so yeah you can also decide which direction you want, and you can't have two out at the same time. Now, to note about this is that if you get hit during it, see, they still get hit. So they actually have to wait until you cancel it or maybe do like a grab so that they use the grab invincibility to hit it safely. Or they could also use a long range move. Now, this move has a lot of uses and it actually kills, kills quite early. Even on Wario, you will see it kill at 15 maybe yeah exactly it's it is 21 damage i don't think it does more damage the more you charge it but i could be wrong about that one honestly i haven't tested it too much yeah it, it's really really strong and it's an excellent edge guard tool so you can kind of just plan it up here by the edge and then Decide which one you want to use, the far one, or if you want to use the one up top that goes shorter. Uh, you can also stall in the, in mid air with it. You can use it as you're recovering. You can use it off stage. It's a really, really good special for edge guarding. And it has quite a lot of shield stun as well. So sometimes in neutral, you can throw it out, then jump in and uh, use it as cover basically. Now this move has one more use that we will go into later, but it's basically using the fact that this hitbox is very quick. It has a hitbox even when it just appears right here. You don't actually have to uh, blow it away, I guess. So see here, uh, where I do upper into it, that's one of the advanced uses, but we'll get to that in a bit. Next up, let's do the aerials to get the bad out for bad out of the way. Um, upper is a good aerial. Um, the back part of it can hit grounded opponents and it leads to quite a bit of combos. Doesn't too, do too much damage though and it isn't too strong, but yeah. Low landing leg aerial has only real low landing aerial, unfortunately. Nair is a Ivysaur-like Nair. Um, it's an okay move, it does okay damage, but it doesn't seem to lead too much. Uh, I think at low percents you can get jab here, but it won't combo at high percents like that. However, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure at like mid percents, if you do a falling Nair, so do don't get all the hits, uh, you can actually get a true combo jab here. So that's something to keep in mind. It can be used as an edge guard tool like this, but it's not too strong. So it's an aerial you use when you just want that like uh, act really active cover, not really as a punish move, but it is one of your best auto shield options. So keep that in mind. Next up we have downer. Now downer is a spike, but it only has a very, very short spike uh, window. And the rest of it is just a side hitbox like so. Side hitbox is still okay for edge guarding, but you definitely do want to hit the spike. And learning to do it will be um, something you 
want to get really good at if you um, plan on using plant a lot. Now, you can combo plant down air to up smash and stuff like that, which is really good if you get the spike. To note though, if you're having trouble learning it, the downer is a lot faster than most actually, and I think the hitbox is at the very tip of it. So it will take some practice, but um, I managed to land it quite a few times when I played it offline, and once I got used to how fast it is. So running up and downering and doing it like so, just be make sure not to fast fall or you'll you might just die right away. Definitely decent aerial and. Uh, just a shame it has a bit too much lag to be very, very good. Fair is probably your most used aerial in neutral. It has a decent amount of lag, but it covers a good arc, like kind of that kind of sword character arc almost. If you get it, you can get a tech shift at mid percent. Um, like so. I think that's the weak hit. Yeah. And at low percent, you get a combo into a dash attack or a grab often. Maybe even a jab, actually. Yeah, like that combos. And down grab, especially. So that's definitely good. You can also, before I forget, nair into grab. Although that usually isn't true, it will work a lot of the time. So it's a kind of a nice gimmick or mix up that you can use. Back air is your, actually your main kill move um, a lot of the time. It is a very strong and pretty large hitbox back air, and it's pretty active as well. It is slow to start up though. If you have a good read, uh, you can definitely go for it. But yeah, just be wary that it's slow to come out. It has a lot of landing lag. And even if you do it off stage, it is very, very laggy. So um, don't do it too low, unless you still have your double jump so you can do it rising. But yeah, overall, pretty underwhelming areas, I would say. I, I definitely expected a bit better aerials. His main problem is that it's fair that he wants to use the space is um, a bit too laggy in general, but it's still functional for sure. Uh, especially when you couple it with his first ground move we're gonna go through, which is his jab. Jab is two frames, which is actually really fast and it has a decent amount of range as well. And it will do decent damage too. Look, that, that would be like 17, which is about general, what you would generally get. Um, so you can do like fair to jab all the time. You can do maybe upper to jab or just empty one land jab to make yourself more safe. Next up we have down tilt. Down tilt is a pretty good uh, poke, you can two frame. And it will set up to uh, fair for for low percents. Uh, dash attack as well also works. So definitely a good like quick poke that you can use. You can also use it running into sliding, which will make it combo slightly longer as well. So definitely look out for down tilt opportunities when you can get it. But it's not his main tilt to use on the ground. I would say that is F tilt. Now F tilt is a two-parter move, kind of like Rick. Uh, Richter and Simon's down tilt. So first up, you just get this by it. It's not too far range, but just 6.6, 6, but doesn't send them anywhere. Then you can decide to do a second one by either pressing the C stick again, or pressing jab, or A again. And this does 13.8, which is a lot of damage for a tilt. And the fact that you can cancel it means that you can kind of throw it out like this. And then if you think they're gonna go in after and try to punish your F-Tilt, you can throw out the second one. It also makes it really, really good for ledge trapping. You can kind of stand here and just like have two active hitboxes. And even if you do the second one, it doesn't actually have much lag at all. And running F-Tilt is for that reason gonna be one of your safest, safest pokes. And it just sends pretty far, does decent damage. I don't think it kills at high percent, but yeah, definitely a really, really good spacing move. Up tilt, we'll hit ground opponents. <laughs> it looks really funny. It's dangles. I don't think it combos too much unfortunately. Um, maybe off tilt to jab at really low percents. Yeah, that's about it honestly. It's something you'll do after you land an upper occasionally. But yeah, not the best off tilt, but it's functional, you know. You you have an off tilt in case you do want to use it. Next up we'll go through dash tag. Dash tag is actually one of your main neutral tools I would say. It goes really far and it, it's quite active. And the strong hit does 12 damage and set, sends them up like that. Doesn't combo to anything, but um, sets up a good like, will they air dodge, will they jump situation. And you can try to read what they're going to do next. And just really good for whiff punishing. If you see the, your opponent throw out a laggy move, you can just kind of go in there with the dash attack. F smash is a pretty fast F smash. It, it's kind of used like a, you know, kind of like a Marth F smash almost. Like you, you just kind of throw it out there. If you see them with a laggy move, if you have a read on them and it does 22 damage on the sweet spot. I think the sweet spot is as far, yeah, far away. 
which is always good for a um, high level smash. You want to be able to hit really strong smooth as far away as safe as possible. Down smash is a decent, like generic down smash, pretty fast. Um, and it does a bit more damage and knockback on the on the opposite side. His most noble smash though is his up smash. It is a little bit invincible in the startup. I think it's 13 frames if you guys care about frame data. But yeah, it has a ground hitbox. It's not too big, it's not inkling big for the ground hitbox, but it if you are very close to your opponent, it will hit them twice. And yeah, you can see it kill Wario, a very heavy character at 100. It's very, very strong. So this is definitely something you gotta want to look out for. It's one of your best kill options. If you use it as a light trap kill, you can use it as a tech chase, you can use it as a parry into up smash. The only problem is, as I said, the range. So if people are really good at playing around it, you're gonna have to be a bit more sneaky with it. Yeah, that's it for smashes. Decent smashes overall. Up smash is a strong smash. I wish it was a little bit easier to land though. So next up, we'll go through throws. I don't think he has a kill throw at all. However, he his back throw is kind of whatever. I don't think you can get a combo from this. Yeah. Four throws, whatever too. They're like, you know, they're, they're standard throws. Like, I'm sure they'll kill like ridiculously high percent. I think at 160 to 180, depending on character, you can do up throw kill. So that's something to keep in mind if you ever let your opponents live really high, but it's not really a, you know, super scary kill throw or anything. Uh, the main throw you're gonna be using though is down throw. Now down throw, will combo into fair at a lot of percents and it will combo to dash attack as well if the di more uh away you can also come into up air and uh reverse up air as well although that one can be pretty hard to uh hit if they di properly but yeah down throw is definitely going to be your generic throw and it, it can be work work pretty well so like you get a nair or a fair right and then you get the grab, and then you get the fair, and then you look for another one. And you, you just kind of just keep going, and then once you have them off stage, use the specials to keep edge guarding. Use down B if you want to get cheeky. And then once they're at, like, say, 100, you start looking for F smashes and up smashes, as well as neutral B kills. This is what I would describe as his generic game plan. Now, he has some more advanced tech that we're gonna go through now. And I think it's best if I just show you. How's his taunt game? This is a good taunt. Okay taunt. Good taunt. Now, there is one thing that I do need to tell you. If you footstool plant when he's crouching like this, he has a Easter egg where he will do 4% damage and you can actually combo after it. <laughs> So, I guess don't try to put still Piranha Plant. It, it doesn't actually matter much at all, I'll be honest. But uh, it's something, it's a really fun detail, I think. Out of shield save. Um, out of shield, you will generally want to do Nair, Up Smash, or Grab, I would say. He doesn't have a good out of shield game, which is one of his big weaknesses. Invisibility and head moves. Does he? What, what are the head moves? Just F smash, up smash? Piranha Plant does not play similarly to Ivysaur, no. But yeah, um, I think Piranha Plant is just a really, really fun character overall. Okay, so I'll show you the the advanced tech. Credit credits goes to Whoopi for showing this one. There we go. That's the setup. So yeah, this is basically the, the advanced version of both his upper usage his uh, and his neutral B usage. Generally, you will never land this combo in a way that it kills at this early percent, unfortunately. But it can be pretty funny, you know, like uh, you can get a cheese kill every now and then with it. But basically, the reason why this works is because when you do neutral B, as I said, it has a hitbox really, really quickly. Which means that sometimes you can... Uh, Use it as a quick, uh, just like, almost like an up air, right? If I see him be on, on the platform here, I can just use neutral B and then combo into a fair. Or even another neutral B, I believe. Oh no, I can't because uh, it, it's already up. Yeah, probably near and then uh, do another up air. Something like that. It does a lot of damage and uh, it's actually quicker than most people realize. As well as uh, just getting neutral B in general, you can, uh, depending on the spacing, get pretty decent follow-ups. 
Now, generally, the main usage of this is after you land an up air or maybe an up tilt. So if you do a falling up air, and as I said, it's easier to land the falling up air if you're doing it at the very, very, very start of the move and when he's turned the other way, in my experience, you can get some pretty crazy combos with it. Just that combo is a very, very solid bread and butter that will work at a lot of percent. Uh, you can make it even more complicated and a little bit better. This is like not super relevant, but it's something to keep in mind that using neutral B for juggles and the occasional com confirm is really, really good if you can make it happen. But definitely not something that you're gonna use every match or anything, but something that you keep in mind. So look at that combo, 63.1 damage. That is a lot of damage for one upper. Uh, so if your opponent isn't ready for falling up air, you can do a ton of damage quickly. But yeah, overall, I would consider Pranapan a really, really well-designed character, other than the fact that he's a bit too weak. But that's fine, not every character needs to be a top-tier character, and I have a lot of fun playing the character. He has a ton of personality, much more fun than just another sword character. If I had to rate him right now, I would put him like maybe one of the worst 20-ish characters. Like low tier, but not bottom tier. Like he's not as bad as Old Mac for sure. He has a decent recovery. He has decent kill moves. You know, he has a, he has a combo throw. He has a dash attack. Like he has, he has stuff, you know, he's just not amazing at anything. He's pretty well rounded overall, other than the fact that he's just like bad out of shield and not a great neutral game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, that's it, we did it.